Hi, so this is a video demonstration for our Eatbox project, which is a blockchain based solution for PWIC for all the financial institutions. Uh, it's a prototype right now, and this is our landing page. It is hosted on Heroku. So uh, let's say uh, we, uh, we have a, a bank and in this demo we'll be showing with the two banks as example so we have one admin page so if you go on this ethereum box or heroku app slash admin here we can log into our admin page and once we log in we can add the users these users will be basically the bank and the idea is uh, we can create these users and send them an email about their credentials and later on they can change their password and whatever they want to do. So this is how the, the banks will be added into the system. So we are back onto our uh, landing page. Uh, now uh, there I have already added two banks. Uh, so from there I'll show that once a user has been verified from one bank uh, the data goes into our smart contract which is hosted on ethereum platform from there the other bank uh, when the same person comes into uh, uh, KYC uh, comes under the KYC into the second bank at that time the resources of the second bank won't be used as the same data is already there in the blockchain so we'll use that and that optimize the time and money and all the resources so uh, let's let's log into our first bank bank one so once we log in into our bank uh, this is our dashboard we can see we are bank one here we can sign out and see whatever other things but this is our main dashboard this on the right hand side this is a form to fill up a new uh, details of the new person which we want to verify or the client which is which came for a kyc so the idea is this uh, this form is just as a template to show the concept of the idea this process can be integrated into a bank into the bank system which automatically fills this form uh, the human won't have to do it like eve uh, phone number it's not very important right now and for now every person has been uniquely uh, tagged with their aadhar card so for now just a random number for Aadhaar card let's say 321 as we know that in the KYC the person also verifies this Aadhaar number that's why it is very important that the person uh, have the same Aadhaar number here as the original they have so once I submit this I'll get a new entry here which says uh, name of the person the email ID and here's the one send request button if I click this this is a, a, a dummy button right now but the idea is we can integrate this second point as a, a request to send a, a, we can add a third party service which sends the invitation for a video call or we can integrate the bank's original video call feature or whatever services they are using we can integrate here as we have the email ID and the contact here so we can start up from there so uh, once a person, uh, the person who is on this dashboard, who is managing this, who is the uh, basically uh, a person who is working in this bank one, is doing this uh, uh, video KYC, he will send this request for a video call. The video call will happen, then he will come back here. And if the person status is correct, like if the person has been verified, the Aadhaar card is the, is the same number as the here and all the details. He will just say yes the status is uh, like he will uh, turn on the status as it this person has been verified and with the blockchain now this bank will have do they want to share this information into the blockchain so that other bank can utilize this yes so they will hit it and we can see we have got a, a robston transaction here let's click and see uh, so now what it gave us is a transaction hash and you can see this blockchain uh, the block has been still pending 
because it's a test network which we are using a ROPS10 which is a test network it takes a bit of time here because it is free uh, that's why uh, it's take, it takes about 30 seconds uh, to verify this transaction and let's just wait in any moment it will get verified so yeah in about 30 seconds uh, our transaction got uh, verified this is our transaction hash and uh, this is our contract we can see it from here so as you can see this is the contract this is the smart contract which we have hosted on the ethereum network and this is our wallet we can see from here and this is the right now the transaction which we have made we can click uh, this is the same hash which we were seeing here 7e at the starting 7e at the starting so this transaction made was made this is a transaction hash from two of us smart contract this is 73a one is our smart contract this 73a and this is our wallet from where the transaction were made and we can see we have around 15 ethereum in balance now i'll try to go into uh, other app uh, and i'll try to log in this was bank one so now when the same person comes for a uh, kyc request into a second bank uh, now i'll log in as a second bank so as you can see i have logged in as a second bank now this form will be filled for the second person just to note that the Aadhaar number which should be uh, which is the unique ID we are matching so this Aadhaar number of the person should be same so we are assuming the same person came for a request in this bank 2 which was already verified from the bank 1 and it was updated in blockchain now when I uh, process this person uh, and I submit it I can see uh, that the status was already turned on as in the KYC has already been done the signal the uh, the bar has already been green and we can check the source as blockchain which means this user was already uh, there the verified uh, this data was already in the blockchain and we took it from there and we have verified it some some bank must have verified it uh, that's why it is in the blockchain so now uh, because each transaction costs some ethereum so we have also stopped the transaction to update a blockchain because it's just a waste of resource this is how the same person which was verified once now can be uh, verified directly from any bank uh, within the circle who are using the smart contract and in together they all can save uh, some resource some of their own resources uh, by uh, pooling in uh, this uh, blockchain technology so i'll log out from here and we will be back on our landing page